Well, I've been looking at uh, the internet for help on this uh, wiring of the Volantex X-Pilot A601 6-axis flight stabilizer, and I don't find anything. So, we'll, uh, this, this uh, video is for the purpose of helping those who would like to use this unit, and I think it's pretty amazing for the price uh, from this particular vendor. It was $15.50. Um, you can get them slightly less expensive or quite a bit more for the same device. It comes in this box, a little plastic box here. This video is also uh, to connect it up to use it as just a flight stabilizer and not switchable. In other words, it's always on. Now it has a provision to switch it with your radio off or on, and uh, but I, this video is to, and it's much. It's pretty simple to make it switchable. But this video is purely the wiring uh, for connecting it up as uh, as uh, just always on stabilizer, and this stabilizer is of the type that if you tilt the plane's wings the ailerons will not just momentarily flutter to try to correct but they will stay offset until the planes uh, wings are level and then they will go back to the neutral position what comes in the box with the x-pilot is this ribbon cable it's rather stiff um, and it has numerous single ends that are just the single wires. Um, to properly wire this, you don't need all of this. Uh, I use uh, the first two. That's the red and brown. I use those for the positive and negative. It needs five wires to be connected. And then the next two are the orange and yellow and I use those for the aileron and elevator and then the the other one that you need is is uh, further down in the uh, cable that's the purple and I use that one for the rudder the colors you know it doesn't matter but I, I just I have several of these and I like to connect them the same way so I use the same convention then you take the X pilot out now the to me something not good about it is this situation has double sided tape but the package the container that it's in can come loose and you can have some jittering uh, when it's in the plane because of that now it's it works better once you push it together but it can come back loose the way it was but even if it's jittering it will work properly it's not to be worried about then next, and uh, I have a diagram, and I found this online. You won't find that uh, in the instruction manual. It's not a good instruction manual that comes with it. It's very poor. It's a tiny little paper, and I'll get that out and show it to you. And it's pretty bad Chinglish. I don't know why the Chinese cannot understand that they need somebody that speaks real English uh, to do these instructions but it's very very small writing and they have no diagram that shows the completed where all the wires should go between it and the and then the back is in Chinese so that's what you get and it's pretty confusing this diagram however is uh, is very good and uh, it shows and, and I've made some marks on on it this side is for as it says servo outputs that is where you plug your uh, aileron see the a aileron here elevator here do not plug the throttle in you don't need that I guess I should line through that you get you just need your positive and negative from your radio and that goes 
here or you could put them in, on any of these unused sections over on this side. Now this side of the X-Pilot, I don't know if you can see that, yeah, is for the uh, your inputs from your receiver and the uh, you have five wires is all you have uh, the rudder wire which I use the purple for that one you have the aileron and these are just signal wires that's why it only has one wire it's the signal part uh, furthest away from the negative in your receiver and uh, that just takes one wire because you're running the positive and negative with this uh, red and brown pair so uh, I'll just plug the rudder in first and it's uh, according to the diagram it's one two and one down so two over and one down two over one down and there's the rudder and that other end will plug into your receiver. Now for your aileron and elevator, I use the orange for the aileron and it is the very top and uh, to the right. Uh, well, the very to the right is the uh, elevator, which is the yellow here. Looks like it's got a little green on it and you plug those two in. So there are three wires plugged in exactly as this wiring diagram shows. And those are signal wires that will go to your receiver. You will also need the positive and negative to feed power to this stabilizer. And you connect them. The brown is I'm using for negative and it goes to the very bottom left like I say it can also go on the other side but I'm I'm just putting these all on this side brown to the bottom and then red to the center and of course signal is top now if you use a S bus you can uh, let's see get that one on there you can just put the S bus over here um, I am using the um, uh, the uh, fly uh, fly sky I, uh, FS i six B, and that's the six channel receiver from Fly Sky. Great little system, and I have one now that I have connected. Well, yeah, I have one that I've connected already to the receiver, and again. Uh, the positive and negative, I'll show you that on the receiver. See, this is uh, this X pilot is hooked up just the way the other one is. I have not yet plugged this uh, positive and negative in. I usually plug them in on the, um, the B slash, uh, what is that, VCC. And again, the black, the, the brown is the negative, it goes to the bottom. And then the red goes to the center. And that way you don't use up a channel for your positive and negative. And that's the way you connect it up. Then for your servos, and I have one already connected up for the servos. And I'll bring that over this one. I've got the uh, number three for your uh, ESC. It plugs into your receiver exactly as you would normally do. So we'll move this out of the way and I will drag the uh, other fully wired system over. So it's really pretty simple. It looks like a mess when you see all the wires connected. But again, the basis is the five wires. Now, there's something else you can do if you uh, don't... I've heard you shouldn't have your uh, rudder connected up to the X-Pilot and I don't. I, I never do that with A3 Supers or other systems. I always have the rudder just on my uh, receiver. If you want to do that, since you have to plug the purple wire into, then you need to use a T. And here's a T 
with uh, one end going to the servo and one end going to the X pilot. And now I have uh, in, uh, independent control of my servo by my radio uh, rudder lever rather than through the uh, X pilot. So uh, here I have uh, uh, servos for the ailerons. And you'll notice when this comes on there will be some jittering. And I have flown with jittering and it's not a problem. Although it does seem not to be optimal. This other thing I have over here is just a little uh, system that I've made with my 3D printer for dropping uh, dummy bombs made by or sold by this uh, uh, place. They're named Atom Bombs and you can A-D-A-M and you can look that up online. Next step would be to check all of this out. Does this thing really work? Alright, I have my radio. It's uh, the good, good old Fly Sky uh, FSI6X. Awesome radio, especially for the price. And then I will plug in the battery to the ESC. And you don't have to do anything. Now, if you're if it's backwards, it says to change the uh, the radio direction of the controls, but I'm not sure about that. It just seems to be right. And you always point this end with the arrow towards the front of the craft you're going to put it in, and it will uh, flash blue, and then it'll go solid once it's calibrated. You notice that's a very fast calibration compared to an A3 Super. Now, to see what does this thing do? I will rotate it as for ailerons and that servo goes and then I will raise and lower it for elevator and that servo goes. So you can see that it does the function and as long as I hold this up it stays right there with the amount of offset and it, or as long as I go to the side the aileron servo is moved and then it goes the opposite direction when you turn it the other way. So this is a full stabilization auto balance system like the A3 Super and uh, that's pretty much this demonstration except we haven't seen the bomb drop work have we? This is a, a micro sub micro servo. I've got these two bombs on here and I will work my bomb drop control and that one falls off, and then that one falls off. And this is the how the system works. It has a little lever that goes, the bombs have rings that hold them in. This little ring here goes in this hole, like that. And then the other one goes in this way, like this. And then switch the switch, and they're both locked. And then when you release, that one goes, and release that one, that one goes. So that's kind of a cool little device. I have a lot of fun playing with uh, trying to drop bombs on a tin can with that. Uh, and this completes this video, and I hope it's helped you to be able to uh, connect up a X-Pilot AX601 from Valentech. Uh, uh, for the price, they are amazing. It's less than half price of an A3 Super, and uh, uh, the fact that you don't have to go through all kinds of setups to me makes it better. You don't have to use a servo channel for uh, having it on. If you want to go to be able to, if you want to be able to turn it off with your radio, you would go with this 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 M uh, terminal. On the A3 Super, and uh, so that then and, and run that to whichever channel switch you want to switch it on or off with. And that concludes this video, and I hope uh, it's been useful to you. Um, it's just strange that nobody has done this apparently yet on YouTube, and I'll be putting this is the um, 9th of May. In the year of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, 2019. Thanks. Bye.